Thursday's market sit rep here at Topkin Options. We have some uh, macroeconomic data and geopolitical events that are causing the futures to bounce around a little bit this morning. Weekly unemployment claims came out before the uh, opening bell. Big drop in weekly unemployment claims to 319,328 uh, were expected. So uh, showing a, a little bit of strength in the uh, weekly unemployment uh, report. So um uh, yeah, it's it's still good. Uh, you know, initial claims for state unemployment benefits declined twenty six thousand to three hundred and nineteen thousand. Okay, and that's a uh, that's a big drop because we've had about three straight weeks of increases. Okay, so again, seeing uh, uh, you know the, the the jobs numbers all over the place, whether it's the the monthly jobs report or weekly jobs reports that, that really show a, a sputtering engine. It, yeah, yeah, the car's still going down the road here, but uh, it. <laughs> It's not moving fast at all. Overseas, folks, you know, pro-Russian separatists, quote unquote, have said we're still going to uh, do a referendum uh, in a couple weeks here. And Putin's like, oh, geez, darn, uh, shucks. Uh, the guy's controlling eastern Ukraine. It's 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 kabuki theater. He's going to take over eastern Ukraine, and we're doing nothing. This administration sends them spam in the can uh, to Ukraine when they're asking for military assistance. We we we, we don't even have the uh, the leadership ability to help a country who wants to be free be free uh and and it's it's just bad folks it is a it, it's a bad thing happening over in ukraine and uh we fiddle while ukraine burns uh mario draghi very interesting uh, press conference uh, this morning uh might have some qe coming to uh to europe very very interesting um very low inflation atmosphere uh over in, uh, in in the eurozone, and uh, Mario's talking about potentially uh, uh, turning on his printing presses uh, as well. You know, he may act swiftly with further easing if needed. So uh, we, we saw the futures uh, lower, then higher, then lower as, as this guy's been talking. So it's been a, a very interesting uh, press conference. Net net, folks, we're we're wallowing around here after these you know couple weeks of rip your face off rallies on this in this Seinfeld market on nothing. We're uh, uh, we're 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 just going to wallow here, looking for a catalyst either to the up or to the downside. The Russell 2000 the other day broke its 200-day moving average, which to me was a very bearish sign. In, unless we unless we catch a bid here, that the breaking of the 200-day moving average on the Russell is is a big canary in the coal mine for me. And we've seen the VIX trading uh, significantly higher. Last week it was down at 1291. I told my Top Gun Options traders when the, if the VIX gets below 13, get long vol. And uh, and we did just that. Uh, it was up to about 14 bucks uh, the other day. Really good trading performance so far in our weekly options uh, model portfolio. Tried to get four trades on this week and got filled on two. Go figure. An Apple bear call spread uh, as soon as it popped through 600, I sold into that pop because at 600 level, uh, these these round numbers are magnet levels to those type of stocks, uh, and it's pulled back. And then a bull put spread on the SPX. I don't think this is the big one, Elizabeth. I don't think uh, we're going to truly roll over hard this week. Um, I think we're going to wallow around, so I put on a, a bull put spread as well. And uh, by Thursday morning on two trades, we're looking up uh, 1400 bucks. And by tomorrow's uh, expiration, um, we still have a potential $1,300 to go with the uh, – uh, SPX uh, bull put spread. So I'm going to, I'm, I'm a hold on the, this trade for now. And, uh, you know, looking for a, a, a potential, you know, 2,700 bucks uh, on three trades in, uh, uh, I'm sorry, on two trades in five days. It's not too bad. Uh, my mission objective is to average a $1,000 a week in the model portfolio and gains. And uh, we're looking at uh, nearly, uh, obviously double that. So uh, if you're interested in taking a test flight in our weekly option service, you can go to topkinoptions.com slash weekly dash options and you can take a test flight and, and see how we uh, trade our weekly options live trading session every Monday morning at 0945 for about a half an hour even if you can't make it don't worry about it all you have to do is go to members account settings and you can enter your cell phone number and I send out text alerts and email updates whenever I uh, enter a new position or update an existing position in the model portfolio okay so give us a test flight there uh, here at Topkin Options and I'll be back with Friday's market wrap-up over at Wealth Creation Investing tomorrow have a great weekend. We'll see you.